morning everybody it's wednesday today and it's valentine's day today so we are off on a little getaway to the cotswolds aren't we blue so we booked a little hotel for a night in a dog friendly hotel if you watched my last one of my latest vlogs I actually got this little package for it because we booked through a dog friendly company called Pets Pajamas and um, it's just like to ensure that the dog's definitely allowed. And they send you a little goodie box for your dog which Bluebell's very excited about but she hasn't been allowed to use it yet but today will be the day. Oh she's so excited. So we are heading off there at about lunchtime. Go away! So funny. me! Yeah, we're heading off about lunchtime. We're getting the train down. So me and Al have are rushing off to the gym now to get in a gym session before we go just because we fancy it. And tomorrow actually is technically my rest day anyway. So today it actually means I am vlogging an upper body workout. <laughs> so for the first time in a very long time I'm not vlogging lower body so that will be great and I'm gonna show you and I'm also gonna do some cardio because I am actually introducing a bit more high incline walk cardio into my routine at the moment because I've been building <laughs> <laughs> happy Valentine's Day baby <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being the best girlfriend in the world. Oh, you're so cute. Blue, they're not for you. And a good mummy for Bluebell and Poppy, eh? She a good mummy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think you've ever got me a bunch of roses before in our four years of I do time. every year. I got you one rose, <laughs> Because <laughs> I couldn't anyway. find any. He always does it too late and then the shops sell out of roses and I'm like... <laughs> I'm learning. Thank you. It's our fourth Valentine's Day together. I worked out the other day. Well, we've been oh. together for three years. Yeah, but we got together just before Valentine's Day. Fourth Valentine's Day together. How do we do it? Also, it means it's two weeks till my birthday today. Ooh. Two weeks today till I'm 22 and I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> The only thing I'm looking forward to about being 22 is being able to sing that Taylor Swift song. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. I've always wanted to be able to sing that, but haven't been able to, but now I will. But then once 22 passes, everything goes downhill, so not too excited, but there we go. Two weeks today is my B day, and I'm a bit excited now. It's getting near. I like February. You got Valentine's Day two weeks later. My birthday. It's a good one. It's better than January anyway. But they are very lovely, so I need to put these in water before we leave. But yes. Anyway, as I was saying about my workout, I have been doing a little bit of cardio just because I, I kind of got to a point where I've been building muscle and just being quite lenient with my diet that I was starting to feel like, okay, now I want to get a bit tighter. We've got a few trips coming up and I just want to feel good in myself. So also it is very good for your heart just to do some cardio. <laughs> I do do hit circuits here and there, but I do enjoy high incline walking because I like watching vlogs while I do it and if you watched my videos last summer I went through like a getting the peach to the beach thing that's what I called it where I was preparing for holidays so there's going to be a lot of that coming soon on the channel I'm not going to do too much but just like you know throwing in some cardio here and there because I'm not good at changing the diet of chocolate especially now Easter's coming there will be many a mini eggs eaten many a egg and spoons so Bit of cardio, bit of upper body, and maybe a little bit of abs, because I feel like I need to do that a bit more too, because I'm a bit lazy on the abs front of things. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring you along. I'm going to try and be quick, because I need to get back and pack. And yeah, that's about it. So, so far, I've literally just got out my suitcase, and I'm literally taking a suitcase for one night. I know I am that woman. <laughs> But I don't have like any medium sized bags. It's a small one to be fair. And then I've also placed out some tops that I'm thinking of taking. Oh wait, they're jeans. They're just some tops I think I'm going to take. Because I don't know what I'm going to wear this evening. Because I think we're going to go out for a meal. I don't think it's going to be that like goey outy because it's a little village. So I'm just going to wear some jeans and a nice top. And then I also have my little outfit of the day ready. I've got a new little top. I'm going to be wearing, which I'll show you when I get dressed after the gym. And there's Bluebell, ready to go. <laughs> and this is my little outfit today for the gym. I've just gone for the Gymshark Energy Seamless combo, because it is literally, I think it's my 
my favourite outfit at the moment, just because I feel like you could just throw it on and you feel fine. Like, some outfits are a bit much for days where you're just not feeling life. But then this one just makes you feel great and, yeah, it's just a lovely one. Just like my black one, but a bit more spicy, if you know what I mean. showered. I just need to pack my bag and I'm very much in a rush as usual. So I think rather than wasting time chatting and I do waste a lot of time chatting in my vlog because I'm very aware of it and I'm sorry if you find me a bit of a rambler. <laughs> rather than doing that right now when I cannot because I'm running late and I'm rambling already <laughs> I'm going to just pop you on the side and time lapse you while I pack. But that workout was a good one. I very much enjoyed it. And often I do lack motivation when it comes to upper body just because I don't often feel like I've done a lot because I don't sweat as much as when I train legs and I'm not too fussed on putting on too much muscle on my upper body. So I do lack motivation a little bit because I don't like leaving the gym feeling like I haven't done that much. But today I did because I'd made my rest period short because I was rushing, felt very achy. Had a bit of a sweat at the end on the treadmill for only 10 minutes today just because I was rushing. But normally I do about 20 minutes high incline walk. Like, I'm trying to do it like three times a week at the moment, but sometimes it, it doesn't happen. But you know, I'm just trying my best. But yeah, good one. Very good one. I have my little selection here of things which I basically use in the morning now. I've just started trying these two products because I had the drops of light eye stuff that I put under my eyes and I loved it so much because it just, it made you look like a bit plump. Like it plumped up your eyes a little bit and obviously it's like a brightening range. I'm trying it out. I don't know yet what I think, but 
my spots are slowly clearing away so I don't think it's disturbing them which is good so I'm gonna pop a bit of this on then a bit of this then my good old by Terry cellular rose serum which is running low and I'm very upset about this Put them on might pop a bit of makeup on gonna pack it's gonna be great we're not gonna be late <laughs> it's all gonna be fine Triple A Credits are right Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner lane 24 twice She's on the phone but she's staying on Will Shop Boulevard I think we are mainly done I'll just give you a little bit of a chat about what I've packed what do you reckon? Yeah, all your stuff's in there too, don't worry. I have got these little jeans, which I love, which I haven't shown you yet. They are from Topshop and they have these little letters all over them. They're mum jeans. I think I might wear them tonight because I don't want to be too dressed up. Got the Baker Boy hat. We've got all, all of the toiletries. I've also brought a Gymshark top to use as like a thermal in case it's cold. This is for the evening. We've got Bluebell's coat in here. Um, Bluebell's little bed thing. And then I've got these two shoes. Basically, right, I wanna wear these. These are from Zara. And I don't know if you saw my other vlog where I bought some like platform Converse from ASOS. They were quite expensive, but I took them back because I saw these in Zara and they were like a third of the price and I just love them because I feel like they're just chill and I love the rainbow insole. Um, you just headbutted my camera. So I really wanna wear them, but it's supposed to rain today. So I'm not sure what to do. So I'm gonna either wear these or these. So these are a bit dirty anyway. I'm definitely gonna take these because we're gonna go on a walk, hopefully today, but probably tomorrow with Bluebell. Nice long walk, she needs it. Little chub over here. <laughs> and just because I didn't show you earlier, let's have a look at my outfit. So we have my little mum jeans from ASOS with the little frill and the star belt to match because I love it and then we've got this new top I got from Topshop that says be happy and it has a rainbow stripe on it and if you don't already know or you can't already tell <laughs> I'm quite obsessed with rainbows at the moment and colourful like things I feel like I'm trying to bring spring to life I don't want winter anymore I want spring so yeah, I thought it was rather cute. And these little hoops are from Topshop as well. I did a nice shop there the other day. Topshop is fabulous at the moment. So, yeah. Anyway, I think now we're going to go in a minute. I just need to finish up and go. And I need to put the roses in a vase as well. That's what I'm going to do. Because my mum made us this little... It's technically a jug, but I'm going to use it as a vase. And she painted these little flowers all over it so I'm going to put the roses in there and I'm hoping they won't die early <laughs> but we shall see breathing in the dark weightless working hard we want you to return his love now he's breathing down on soil but that ain't enough to turn the baby we're here Bluey it's got here and Bluebell has already done this to the bed and I'm upset yeah. with her. But this is a dog friendly room so, you know, I feel a bit bad though, that is awful. I'm going to give you a tidy little tour because it's very cute. It's like a little cottage outdoor house room. Ooh, cute bathroom, I haven't been in here yet. Oh, we've got a bath. We've got a bar. So this is like our little, hey, welcome to our cottage house sit and chill if you want to bit. Then we have a mirror. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Niall! <laughs> and then we've got our lovely bathroom. This bathroom is very nice. Look at this. Decent sized bath. Good old bath over there and we've got a shower. Big old sink. Here is our lovely bed. It's now covered in dog mud prints. I've tried to clean her paws and it still does not seem to work, but you know. This brick wall, I will have a brick wall in my house one day. I just want one like this, where you just have one brick wall and then all the rest aren't. And some wooden beams, definitely want wooden beams. This room is a bit of inspo for me for my future house. Bluebell's having her own party. 
We're on holiday, woo! I think what we're gonna do, because the weather is really rubbish today, which is a bit upsetting, it's just like rain, rain wind, which is the worst kind of rain, the windy kind. We're gonna take Blue Bell on a little stroll and get a coffee, and then we're gonna go down to the spa, aren't we? No! No! <laughs> How cute is this little town? One day, this is the sort of town I want to live in. And I have five children <laughs> and three dogs. <laughs> not yet though, I'm not ready to be this rural. But it's nice to visit. Have you got a new friend? Don't like it very much. Oh, it's so cute. Got a friend. Oh, really? See this, they like you. I want that dog. That's your future sister. So, it's a lot later now. I haven't spoken to you for like hours. But we went to the spa and then I d decided not to take my camera to the spa because obviously people might not like it very much. And now we are in very much of a rush to get to dinner. So, I spent most of this vlog rushing somewhere. But we're rushing to dinner because our reservation is now. But we don't have far to go so it's fine but Niall has given me the rush look. So I went for these little babe jeans, which I spoke about this morning. I've actually got them on, except I've lost the E on the bum, so it says bab, which is fabulous. And then I've got this little Topshop top on as well, so we're wearing all Topshop. These are ASOS, little sock booties. And then I've got my ASOS red coat on. I have decided to put a bit of sparkle on my eyes. I'm gonna show you the product when I get home, because I forgot that I had it. And I feel like I haven't done too bad. I feel like you can't go wrong with glitter. Glitter is glitter and it's all good. But I'm going to go now. I'm going to take you to dinner but just show you our food and stuff and then we'll have a chat when we get in. Although we probably are going to have a few G&Ts so beware of the tipsy dust. What is on my face? Oh, it's a hair. <laughs> We just got back from dinner. Don't focus on me. Here she comes. She can't miss out, can she? Oh my god. <laughs> she just sat on your face. <laughs> it's not late actually. We've come back at a relatively good time. I've only had two G and T so I'm feeling fat fancy. <laughs> I'm feeling fine. Um <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> no, I am actually okay. Our dinner was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good actually. It was actually really Three nice. It was like set a menu. set. Yeah, we didn't realise it was a three-course set Valentine's venue. Blue Bell's having her own party over here. She was so good. She just sat on my coat and went to sleep the whole time, didn't she? Yes. <laughs> wow. I was literally just about to say we have just as, the most behaved puppy. Just as we were saying how quiet she is. <laughs> She's just <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> she, we just gave her two of these treats that were in her little goodie box from this company that sells bedtime biscuits. I don't think they're bedtime biscuits, do you? Before I finish this evening, I just thought I'd tell you about this eyeshadow, which actually has stayed on so well. And I don't think I've done too much of a bad job, to be fair. I mean, it's nothing fancy, because I was going to do a bit of pink with it, but... I forgot my eyeshadow palettes, and I think I did that purposely so I didn't do anything embarrassing with my eyeshadow. What was in my hair? There is mud in my hair. I was at this new shop in Stratford, Westfield the other day, and it's the only place they have one at the moment, but it's called Indulge Beauty, and um, it's basically like this really cool <laughs> beauty shop. It just has a very like modern cool vibe about it and I feel like it's gonna really catch on. It really reminds me of um, Sephora in America but obviously we don't have Sephora in the UK so I do think it's gonna be a great one but when I was there I picked up this eyeshadow 
I'll just show you the box first. So it's called a Metallic Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. And it's by Touch In Soul. And I'd actually never heard of this brand. They had lots of different colours, but I went for like the silvery one. This is like the liquidy bit, and then you pop this on top, which is all the really like clumpy bits of glitter. And it's just a lovely thing. And um, I had a go at it tonight. I would have liked to have put like a little blush pink with it too, but I just didn't have it, so. You know, I just thought I'd let you know that. But anyway, I think I'm going to leave the vlog here for this evening and we're just going to chill out. Bluebell, she's eating your toes. I know, I quite like it. <laughs> Look at her face. Look at her back legs. Bluebell is a slug. Look at those legs. Ah. Oh, boy, she's having her own party over there. Ow. But anyway, I am going to leave the vlog for today. I'm going to show you a little bit of the area tomorrow more because I think it's supposed to be sunny and we're just going to basically spend the day on a long walk, going to some pubs, having some pub lunch, just having a chill and being in the countryside. So I will show you some of the bits tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to say goodnight and we will see you tomorrow. Won't we, Niall? Oh, yes, we will. <laughs> Twitter! Hey, Megan. What? I like your pajamas. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's the next day, and we are rushing. <laughs> the whole time I've been vlogging, I've been like, we've been in a rush. We're in a rush. We are in a rush because we didn't realise checkout was so soon, so we are rushing. But we're just basically going to go on a walk, aren't we? Yes, and I grew a foot overnight. <laughs> Looks like you're so tall, but there's this weird step. It's a very weird place to put a step and a mirror because then if you want to take a picture you've got to balance on one. <laughs> but anyway, today I am wearing this tops from ASOS. These are from Topshop. Belts from ASOS. I'm wearing the jeans again, I know. I'm a bit I'm a bit of a Bab. Bab. Bab jeans. I'm a bit of a Bab. Bab. Um, and then I've got my little Zara platform trainers on, which I'm rather worried are going to get a bit muddy today, but I can wash them. But I'm just going to have to be careful. And I've gone for a red lip, but it's gone a little bit messy, but I don't have the time to fix it, so we're going to have to deal. Got the star rings in too, and they're from ASOS. I just am a walking ASOS woman. I don't know how much I'm really going to show today, just because I can't really do two-day vlogs because I am the chattiest person in the world and if I do two days, it becomes very long. Unnecessarily, un unnecessarily long. Oh my God, I can't see. <laughs> unnecessarily long, not wrong. It would become basically a film and I think that would be rather boring. So I think I will just vlog a little bit today and it's not actually gonna be that interesting, but I wanna show you like the surroundings cause it's blue outside today, so there's no blue in the brain because it's blue in the sky. It's Look very, at our little view. Very pretty, darling. It's like a little hedge, hedge art. Hedge art. That's the back of the hotel. Really very country-esque. Really yeah, they've they've shaved them to make them squares. Hedges, they get shaved. <laughs> Hedges get shaved. How often? Often. This is the little village in a nice weather setting. Much better. Val's looking all fancy to go for a walk. We both look a bit fancy. We've gone for white shoes on a dog walk. Not Never clever. <laughs> I also have discovered that every time I do French plaques, my right one goes fat. Look at this plaque, it's just fat and ugly. And this one's great. This one, ugly. Just got home and Poppy's having many a fits. She's running back and forward down the corridor, showing off because she didn't come with us on our holiday. Where have you gone? <laughs> I see you. <laughs> she hid behind the suitcase. Oh, 
I missed you a lot. Yes, I did. We are home, and I have been the worst vlogger of vloggers today, basically, because I just didn't vlog anymore. <laughs> you know when you have those days where you just do nothing, but then you feel even more tired? When I'm productive all day and I go to the gym, I have so much more energy, I've realised. But, you know, it was actually nice to just, like, chill out for a bit. My lipstick is everywhere now so please ignore that <laughs> um, also my white trainers are no longer white so i need to clean them too also i just wanted to tell you if you like poppy and bluebell i don't think i've actually mentioned it much on my youtube channel but they do have an instagram which niall is being very good at posting on regularly i mean i do a lot too but he is the poppy and bluebell pro this is their ch their channel <laughs> their channel imagine they had a youtube channel <laughs> this is their instagram so as you can see, it is rather cute. This was Bluebell this morning at breakfast, the one on the side there. And then that's Bluebell in the middle at the top on the train. So um, it's rather cute. I will pop it on screen and in the description box if you want to go follow them because we are being very consistent now. And Niall's quite good at the witty captions, so they're quite funny. And we have specific personalities for them both. Poppy was a sass pot. She is still a bit of a sass pot, but she's now turned into a little bit of a hippie. She's so she's she's very no. against social media. This is why you don't see her, because she thinks it's narcissistic. She, she thinks, shy. yeah, she thinks that I'm a vain woman that films herself and takes pictures for Instagram. She doesn't agree. And then Bluebell's just a bit not there. <laughs> but I just keep forgetting to like tag it in my YouTube videos. I don't know why, but definitely go and give that a go. So anyway, I think we're going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm rather worried it's going to be long. I should not do two-day vlogs because... I talk too much <laughs> and then it'll be like a film it's basically like an episode of two East. it's like a double eastenders that's what it's like you do know you can edit stuff out uh, i don't like to <laughs> you don't have to include everything you film yeah but i like to because then otherwise they don't get the full effect <laughs> they could skip it Anyway, I will leave the vlog here now, or I'm going to be here again for a long time chatting. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you did. Let me know what your favourite bit was. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Let me know if you follow Poppy and Bluebell, and let me know if you like Niall. <laughs> I, I needed me. one more. I needed if one more. Let like me know. If you like Niall, as if there's any question.